So today we're playing a ranger class and we may just have risked the entire game to make a super creative and awesome build and it may even just involve the Imperial Large Greatsword. But hey, check it out and let me know what you think of it. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and jump into some ranked games with the ranger class and see what we can do today. Honestly, we've got some nice options off the bat here. I will actually be taken and try to craft up a hero sword here. Also, we'll be taking these close of haste and a healing herbs here. Nice reroll. And I'm honestly going to just use up our gold here. Rerolling to try find another whetstone. And honestly, we found one immediately. And I look over. Awesome. Going to be taking both these. So we should have a decent chance of beating the first one here with the healing herbs and two weapons. And yeah, we just kind of smash our way through here. We're very close though. Very, very close. Let's go ahead and take the whetstone. Let's take another lucky clover and a banana and we're going to switch this around to this side. So we're actually making more use of our gloves of haste. We do have two gold here. Do we want to reroll? I'm actually going to save our gold and move on. Although this ranger class with the spike shield here could actually honestly beat us here. They do have a lot of DPS. And they do have that spikes. And honestly, we got a crate in the middle of that fight. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. And that is basically the reason why we won here. Honestly, should we go for a Falcon Blade? Yeah. Get a Falcon Blade this early, we're gonna have to take it. Go for Bag Stones. Do we go for Pocket Sand? Three gold here, let's reroll. And I might actually take this. Garlic, to be honest. Reason being, it's a little bit of damage mitigation with that armor. I know it's only three, but still, it's that a tiny little bit of damage mitigation that could actually benefit us here. We'll see how we do again this Reaper class. Kind of just smashing, their DPS is not too great here. Their sustain though with the Goobert could keep them alive that little bit longer, but not enough to actually stack up that. Poison on us. We now have a Falcon Blade here. I'm actually going to take a carrot here. I do also want his Cap Resilience too. So we're gonna have this in here, add this in, and I do really, really, really want this. But there's nothing I can do to take it right now, so we might actually have to leave it. We're gonna be taking the fanny pack for definite. With three gold left, I'm actually gonna leave it. As much as I want. Also, we should have moved this back a little bit. But I didn't want our stamina usage to be too high. We bought our weapons in the fanny pack. Also, we need to put more of our food items around the Falcon Blade here, that is. Mistake here, and it should have cost us that fight. We got very lucky here. I will actually be taking a Goobert and another pair of gloves here. How many gloves can we get? We're going to take the Goober. The Goobert. And yeah, let's sort our inventory here. We'll move this over, and that's going to be pretty decent position. Unless we want to use the Goobert. Then we're going to have to have our situation like so. But as of right now, we're going to have it this way. Two triggers for a Goobert. Let's go ahead and get another Gloves of Haste and let's reroll here. Let's reserve another Fanny Pack and let's move on for now. I'm not making much use of this Gloves of Haste, but it is what it is. We do have a Falcon Blade here pretty early on, which is going to carry us, to be honest, for a while. Our food item is going to be triggering and Goobert's going to give us a lot of sustain, especially with this Falcon Blade. However, the issue lies in our actually stamina usage here. And actually lasted a lot longer than it needed to be. Honestly, there, that could have been a bit of a problem. Your stamina cost is 0 0.7, yours is 0 0.8. So technically, we could actually take this. Do we really, really want this? It would increase your DPS here by quite a lot. Especially because this is 5 DPS and you are 1.4. So we could sell you and we will take you. As we're fitting it in then, we're going to switch around, like so. And then we can have this in, like so as well. Then we want this to be like this, if possible. We're getting the character trigger. We're getting the character trigger, we're getting the banana trigger, and we are getting the gloves of haste to be triggering off the banana at least. As for a look here, we might actually have to remove one. I do want to craft up a card Goobert here, to be honest. 
want to try it with the Falcon Blade here. We see how we do again at this Pyromancer here. Honestly, our DPS here is going quite crazy. And yeah, we just kind of smashed down that Pyromancer. We're continuing on quite nicely here. Honestly, should we go for Gloves of Power? Gloves of Power to increase the damage of Ripsaw Blade. Honestly, let's try here. Let's add back in our Lucky Clover. Let's reroll here. Blueberries, practically large greatsword. Should we sell this for a practically large greatsword and decrease the speed of it with Gloves of Haste? I mean, Gloves of Power. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Also, Blueberries here. Going to be insanely awesome for us. It's a single trigger for our Gooberts here, which I'm not going to complain about here. Also want to move this in, but we're going to leave it like this for now so we craft up those Gloves of Power here. Let's see what we can do again this Ranger class with the Steel Gooberts. Damage mitigation with Spike Shield and damage mitigation with the Leather Arm. But yeah, we're just kind of just smashing through. We broke through the armor. They are eating our stamina though. Which still... Not too bad here. And we unlocked our subclass. What should we go for here? Honestly, this might be a strange one here, but I'm actually going to take the big ball of treats. As crazy as that sounds. As the big ball of treats here is actually going to make our cards trigger so much faster. Stacking up that and power. Allowing us to activate the impractically large great swords effect here. Let's go ahead and buy this. Can we sell you now for an actual impractically large great sword? Honestly, no, we can't. We should have waited a another round here. But I do want to find more cards and have our big ball of treats here. I actually be working with our card situation. We'll add this in for now. We'll have this over here. We need a lot of cards. And we're too short here. Do we sell this? Yeah. I'm going to be selling it for now. And I will be taking this here. And yeah, this is our setup for right now. We have our big ball of treats here. Giving us random buffs. Also making our food items trigger here faster and faster. Triggering faster and faster, meaning we're going to try and get more in power. We just need one more Lucky Clover really, really badly here. And then we actually have a chance to get it in power. Making our practically large great sword here deal a lot more damage. We are going to need a storage sack or we're never, or stamina sack, or we're never going to hit with a practically large great sword. And yeah, that is one down so that I did not plan for here. We're also going to want this crit damage here. Also, what the hell just happened? We're going to reroll here. That is a card. Do we even go for a card Goobert at this point? I think we just sell the card Goobert here. We just increase with cards here. And let's go ahead and buy this so we can have this in this direction. And fit that in. And we need one more Lucky Clover here. I'm not going to take an extra pair of gloves. A squirrel here to actually steal some buffs. Could be super awesome. As of right now, we're going to move on. We are risking another loss here. We're going to need that stamina sack soon enough or we're never ever going to hit with our practically large greatsword. As our falcon blade here is eating up all the stamina here. Yeah. We got a lot weaker doing it this way. We're never hidden unless we actually sell or remove our falcon blade. So that's going to be an issue here. We're going to be taking a squirrel. There's also rats we're going to be taking, and let's reroll here, and finally, a stamina attack. We desperately, desperately needed it. Also, we're going to move you up here, so we can actually have our squirrel in. Not the best position, but we can have a rat in here as well. With this now, hopefully we can actually hit, because we do have one stamina attack. We're after going down two lives, trying to set this up. Let's see how we roll again. This pyromancer here. Can we actually hit now with our party large great sword? Yeah, we got one hit in. Can we get another hit in? No. Definitely. Definitely not here. More cards. Let's reroll. Stamina sack. 100%. More cards. Let's continue to reroll here. And I do want this potion too. Let's move on. We definitely just need a lucky clover here. One lucky clover or another way to generate up luck. So like a flutes. We generate up that in power. The practically large great sword here is going to carry us significantly, but as of right now, we're down to our final life. That's how insane this has been. It's been pretty terrible here. 
Two heroic potions. Can this keep us alive? Are we going to craft up? Honestly, we kind of need this banana. So no. We're going to move on for now. Can this save us? Will this save us? We'll just have to see. Poison, explosion, reaper class here. Is this going to smash us? Or are we going to be able to pass him out here? We barely survived here. We managed to get two crits in that fight. We're doing practically large greatsword. Do we want another squirrel? I don't think so. More storage? Yeah, I will be taking more storage when we move this over. So we can fit that in like so. I'm not going to take any of these items here. None of these either. More crit chance. I'm also not going to take here. And finally, a finally another Lucky Clover. We're going to be able to generate opt. That in power now. I also want to take this banana so we can actually craft up one of these potions. Like so. We'll add this back in before he forgets. And yeah, let's move on for now. We could actually take that stone skin potion and get another close of power here to increase the damage or a practically large greatsword. But yeah. We are smashing now. Yeah, this is actually going crazy insane. This could turn out to be really, really strong here. I'm also going to put the weak one below the strong one here. Let's go ahead and take a bunny back. Let's add this in here. Have this situated like so. And then we want a another card here. Let's re-roll. Fanfare, potentially, to actually give us that empower here. Alternatively, we go for a blood amulet. I think we're actually going to go for this, for that little bit of vampirism here. Blueberries. I'm actually going to take here. Reason being is, once we reach that 10 mana here, we actually start to generate up a look. So the longer the fight goes, the more we can generate up crit chance and accuracy here. See so how yeah, we do again this Pyromancer. They do have the Dark Lantern here, but they don't have any dark items. So it should be pretty decent for us. And yeah, it's looking pretty solid here, actually. Surprisingly, we should honestly just take our A points, but let's see how stronger this can get. And honestly, a present at this point. Giving us five random buffs. Is it going to be worth it? For four slots. We only have four rounds to survive, so maybe we do take it. Let's go ahead and take another fanny back. Also, we're not making entire usage of this fanny back. So if you'd rather do something like this, then we're actually making a much, much better usage here. Let's reroll here. Another rogue potion. We're going to need this if you take the Impractical Large Great Sword. Just need a load of those. And also, we need to put a card... In the 20 pack. That's another mistake. Let's see what we do again this. Ranger class and yeah. Honestly. Kind of working out pretty good here. That is a poison gubbard. And another. Acron collar here. I'm not going to complain. That's going to be guaranteed crit chance. And for the gems. We're going to add in and like so. And we're going to solve this. And solve this. Let's take another potion. And now we have to try to fit in. Situation where we can put three potions. Yeah, we need this more. We can move this down like so. We can move this in here. Yeah, that's going to be much, much better than we can have you down here. And then move our Impractic Large Greatsword completely in the wrong position. You all unfortunately need to stay up like so. But that means we can have our potions in like this for now. And we can have this in like so too. And yeah. Do we take a fourth potion? I don't think so. Do we take a piggy bank? I don't think so either. A potion belt actually might honestly be nice. But I'm still not going to take it here. I'm actually going to take another blueberries here for our squirrel and also for that accuracy. It's a small upgrade to be honest because the mana is basically useless for us. However, we can generate up that mana pretty quickly. It's kind of slowed up, not going to lie. We're still not even at the 10, and our opponents have HP. Got that 10 in power. And yeah, actually, this is becoming really, really smooth. However, it did take a long time to come online, as you can see, we're down to our final lights here. And we'll see the damage output. Party Large Greatsword, 34%, Falcon Blade, 12 DPS. Versus there, 18 DPS altogether. As for heals here, Vampirism, not healing us a ton here compared to our opponents, but... Healing is all the same. A Spectral Dagger. An Emerald Whip here. Poison Dragon. Also giving us tree luck instantly. 
We could make use of it. We're gonna sell the spectral dagger. I don't want it. And we're gonna need this extra storage here. And we're gonna move these items around a little bit here. We're gonna add in our squirrel like so, then we can have this in here. Did not mean to do that. Add this back in. Can we move this in? You can as a weapon, you do, but you attack much, much slower. Not great for a poison dragon. But it is what it is. That's also another lucky clover. Let's go ahead and sell the garlic now. I don't think we need it anymore. Let's re-roll once more. Another garret. Another carrot I will be taking. Let's move. Let's see how we do in our final. Our second last round. Not our final. Our second last round here. We definitely have 100% crit chance. 55% crit chance on our Falcon Blade here. Our potions are rocking through. <laughs> and yeah. Just one hit after another after another. It's a practically large great sword. We're looking at heals here. 45 DPS. We see the attack speed on it. The attack speed is 1.5. Summon cost 3.3, which we can keep up with because we have three potions. And we still have that extra potion going here too. And honestly, we got an elephant rune here. Do we want the max HP or do we want chance to stun? That's going to be fantastic on the actual Falcon Blade here. As for the bow, we're going to sell. As for a wet zone, we're going to sell. We're going to want an extra hair tier. And honestly, I really, 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 really do want an extra carrot triggering off our big ball of fruits here. Big ball of treats. But I don't think that's going to be possible. So we're going to have it situated like so. Crit chance, I don't think it's going to be worth it. Uh, let's reroll some more. That is a hedgehog here. Every 5 seconds, deal 5 damage. Increased by 0 0.5 per spike. Yeah, we don't really have spikes here. So it's not going to be ideal. So I'm going to reroll here. I'm going to just continue using up. Actually, let's just buy this. Cool. Alternatively, we could actually take this and actually deal... One extra damage. That is going to be super, super significant. No, it's not even going to matter. But yeah, this is going to be our final build here. We do have one rat in here, which has a 10% chance to inflict blind and also a 70% chance to inflict poison here. We do have our big ball of treats here, giving us two random buffs. And also making our cards here generate up that in power. Since we have that luck here as well. We do have a falcon blade in here, increasing the speed of our party large greatsword. While also increasing the speed of our cards here. So we should be able to generate up that in power pretty quickly here. Also with the present here, we actually got an emerald whip here. Which it does give us 3 luck, so we have that instant 100% crit chance. We'll see how we do again in this final fight here. We're going to begin a cheese berserker here with the Deerwood Guardian statue. So we'll have to see how we do here. Can we burst him down instantly? And look at this. Smashed him. This build came together quite nicely. However, it did take a lot to put together here. We lost four lives to, in order to get this working here. But yeah, it has been crazy to be honest. DPS wise, practically large grace sword 36.3 and a falcon blade at 14.5 DPS. Heals, vampirism, not doing too much. They had lots of little healing here, but it didn't actually matter here. Damage, they had very little damage because all they had was the Excalibur. But they did have Jin's Lamp here to be scaling up that damage as well. But at the same time, the Impractical Large Great Sword here. Doing 296 damage in the first 8 seconds of the fight. Insane burst damage. As well as the Falcon Blade here. But yeah! Let's see how much rank points we got. We two tries left, so we survived two lives, and we got 15 rank points. This build was a strange one, it came together quite nicely. Never ever used the Impractical Large Great Sword with the big ball of treats. And honestly, it seems to be pretty decent here. I will say, to actually make it work here, we almost died trying to get it going. So that is one of the major downsides. I, I tend to take that Impractical Large Great Sword a little bit too much here. But we are going to leave it here for now. And I just want to say thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope you keep a lookout for the next one. See you next time.